Can you tell me a little bit more about what happened after the operation? I'll do that. I stayed in the hospital for about a week, the minimum time one can stay in, which is all bodes well. I came home, and for a couple of weeks, you're pretty much uh, lying down, recovering. But the next steps were very interesting. I, I went on progressive walks, progressive walks, to recover my strength and my reintroduction into the world, can I say, because that's really what it felt like. So that, that was an outdoor thing. It was summertime, thank goodness. I wasn't reading very much or, or even going, uh, watching television or doing, listening to the radio. Sensory interaction was very minimal. I was taking naps and sleeping a lot. But slowly, slowly, those things were coming back to me. And I really felt like it was very slow. About six months after the operation, I finally felt like I turned a tiny corner. Six months after that, another tiny corner. It took me about six months to nine months, I think, before I took a really long walk on the beach. And it's taken me almost, I think, almost 18 months before I became fully, fully myself. But in between that time, there were these progressive levels and steps, and people kept saying, ah, you're looking more yourself, you're looking more yourself. But it did take me that long. And I think what I've learned is talking to other people who've had this surgery, that um, we each take as long as we take. And for me, that's how long it took. So reading, something I've been a voracious reader my whole life, has taken a bit longer than I've liked it. But it's concentration and energy has slowly, slowly come back to me. Is that helping? Are you